So Sean, tell us five things that you don't want to do while you're in escrow. The list is longer than five, but we'll keep it to five. Number one, do not move money around. As a lender, the one thing we're always looking at is to be able to verify where the closing funds come from. Right. So the last thing that you wanna do is get gift money from a family member, or let's say you've got some cash laying around the house that you just deposited. Right. We have to be able to paper trail everything. So if you're moving money around, it has to come from an account that we can verify, mm -hmm. that you can show us documentation. If we can't verify it and we can't show where it came from, we can't, more often than not, we're not gonna be able to use it in the transaction. All right. Number two, do not apply for new credit. Yes. We see this all the time. Yes. People get excited and I know buying a house is very exciting, it's very emotional. And a lot of, I've seen so many people over the years, you know, once we say your loan's approved, they think that there's nothing else to do. Right. Or they're getting ready to do the final walkthrough and they're signing and then they see the sale at Best Buy. Right. They go and buy that 70 inch TV and finance it over 18 months, yep. thinking that 0%. But during the mortgage process, we as a lender still monitor the credit report. Right. So if you go and apply for anything, we're gonna get notified. Yes. And then we have to assess how much you're borrowing and what the payment's gonna be. Mm -hmm. So wait until Coyote gives you your keys. Yes. Then you can go shopping. Exactly, so wait till the actual closing date. Correct. You know, a lot of people, we always do the final walkthrough three days before, right? So yep. they get excited, yep. they see everything, you know, they're like, oh, this is the place for the TV and this is the place the for the dining set. The couch. Exactly. Yep. But wait until the closing. Absolutely. Until okay. it records, the house is officially theirs, yes. you give them the keys, then yes, then you, can you guys shopping. can go buy whatever you want. Then you could go shopping for everything you want. Awesome. Number three, do not pay your bills late. I know this sounds pretty obvious, but there have been instances, even during escrow, where uh, sometimes people have things on auto pay okay. or sometimes they forget to pay things. Yes. I've had clients that forgot to pay a credit card, their score went down almost 100 points oh and goodness. it killed the deal. Wow. So be very cognizant of all your finances during the process. You know, Be diligent about paying your bills. Make sure that if you're going on vacation or you're gonna be out of the country or something, that, some, that somehow those bills get paid. Absolutely. Because if it affects your credit, which obviously missing a payment will, yeah. it could jeopardize your entire loan. And that's crazy, like 300 points, right? Yep. That was deducted, that's, that's, a, yep. that's insane. Insane. Yeah. So Sean, how about switch, switching jobs during the escrow? You know, maybe you got a new position, a promotion, an opportunity. Yep. How would that affect uh, the process? For the most part, as long as you're in the same line of work, it's okay. Mm -hmm. um, even in some of the other videos that we've talked about, communication is always important. Mm -hmm. So we just want our clients to notify us and let us know, hey, I might be having a promotion, mm -hmm. I might, uh, I am searching for a new job or I'm interviewing, just so that way we know how to structure the file. Right. Um, you definitely wanna keep the rule of thumb, which is two years in the same line of work. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're going from Let's say you're working in the marketing department and maybe now you're gonna become the manager or a director, that's fine. But right. if you're going from a teacher to all of a sudden being a plumber, that might be a problem. Mm -hmm. So we wanna make sure that we're all on the same page, especially when it comes to the employment. Because... Have, you, yeah. Have you had an experience where a client of yours, a buyer, switched jobs that was in a different industry and the deal fell through? We, we haven't. Luckily, we do have that conversation up front. Great. Um, I know a lot of people that are thinking about relocating here to Vegas. That's one thing where, you know, if they're living in New York and they're right. coming here. So right. there is a potential change in industry. Right. But we definitely have that conversation just to make sure that we're not going to miss anything mm -hmm. or uh, the client might think, you know, hey, this isn't a different line of work or right. whatever that might be. Okay, good. So Sean, I've had a, a very excited buyer uh, who went into escrow and then maybe like three days in, he's like, how do you want to buy a new car? <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, probably not, but let's talk to Sean. Yeah. So what do you think about these major purchases? Major purchases, you always want to put that on the back burner. Um, funny story is I was buying a house 
and I actually went and bought a car. Okay. So as much as I always tell people, don't do it. I mean, luckily I, I knew I could qualify, so yeah. it was not going to be an issue. Right. But if we're tight on your debt to income ratio, or if it's going to affect your credit score okay. by them running your credit, yes, you want to wait. Okay. And even to the extent of if you have to choose between buying the car or buying the house, right. Buy the house first mm -hmm. because buying a house, we have to look at all of your debt, right. you know, and when you go and buy a car, really they're just looking at the credit score right. for the most part, right. you know, and I don't, you can get financing almost anywhere. So if you had to choose, unless you absolutely, absolutely need the car to be able to buy the house to go to work, I understand that. Mm -hmm. But if you have to choose between the two, buy the house first, then you can treat yourself and buy whatever car you want. Absolutely. After close, guys. After I After hand over close, the keys. Yes. After I hand over the keys. <laughs> yep. Because you just get excited, right? Yep. And um, you know, a lot of people that are relocating here, in particular, yeah. they're you know moving everything, and a lot of times they sell their cars wherever they're in, and they want to buy a new car here. Yep. So they just want to have everything ready to go. Yeah. And yeah. and that's where, like I said, communication is super important, and just having that trust even with you as the agent, you know, to confide in you and hey, this is what I'm thinking of doing, yeah. is this right? Because yeah. I know sometimes, uh, even from the buyer standpoint, it just may be something that, I don't think they do it intentionally, right. but I just don't think that they're aware of maybe how that decision could impact them. But that's where, as a lender, as an agent, and working as a team, we can give you folks the best advice possible because the last thing we want is, to, is for you to get excited about the house, right. fall in love with the house, to then say you don't qualify because of the mistake you made so and has that happened in the past in your experience it has yeah there's yeah. been times where you know clients were not completely forthcoming with some things that were going on mm -hmm. and we find out in the last minute and we try to do the best to mm -hmm. save the deal but yeah. there are instances where sometimes yeah it does fall apart mm -hmm. unfortunately yeah and as realtors, I think we need to educate our buyers, right? You know, we think these are obvious things, yep. but we have to remind them. Absolutely. You know, they're in this process, it's emotional, they get excited, yep. they forget, and you know, it just may not occur to them, right, to ask. So as, as realtors, as the buyer's agent, we need to educate our buyers and let them know that, hey, these are the top five things that we don't want you to do during escrow. You could do it after the closing, but don't do it now because yep. that's going to affect the lender. Once you get your keys, you can do whatever you want. We don't care. You want to go buy the house, <laughs> go buy the house. I mean, the car, the car. go buy the car. Yep. You want to go get the TV yep. for every room, go get the TV. Thank you so much, Sean. This was amazing. Make sure you check out my content for home buying tips. See you on the next one.